Oh, burner not working. Clicking but not working. All right, you're gonna take off this cap. And then take out these two screws. All right, I'm gonna use the mini socket wrench. And the big long socket is 3 16 3 16 size 3 16. Screw these two screws off. So you clean it, take it off and clean it. And the little screws. You need to take off. Pretty dirty. All right, so I'm taking out the last screw. My fingers, easy. Let's pop it up. Now I'm gonna clean this piece off with some soap and water. <clears throat> you wanna just clean this as best as you can. <clears throat> I'm using a wire mesh to kind of go through everything. There's some spots that you can't really get to, and then you want to go into these little grooves with like maybe a, a paper clip. Into these paper clips to kind of clean it up as best as you can. So, like on the bottom too. Trying to clear up all the airways for the gas to go through. Whoa. So I'm just using a little drill bit to kind of go in all these creases, go all around. Just try to clean as best as you can. This is where all the gas and the fire comes through. So go all around a couple of times. Clear up as much of the gunk as you can. Just to clear up a way for the gas to come through. Alright, next step, I'm just going to put a Q-tip inside. Try to clean as much as I can. So I'm just going to clean everything as much as you can. All these little areas where the gas is going to come up. Just clean these holes as best as you can. Night or two. Clean as best as you can with a little water and a Q-tip. All right, now I'm done cleaning it as best as I can. I'm put it back in. Um, looking at the slot, gonna match it up with the little white igniter, and just stick it back into the hole and put it back in the two screws. Two screws. And put it in the two screws and then put on the cap. You need the cover on to make sure that it turns on and it should be working. There you go.